Isn't that good news? And then the other thing said, um, there was another article, the answer everybody was like, if, if Iraq is trying to regulate which banks can open national banks in Iraq, that is, that is immensely important. But the biggies are always going to be in there. Why? The biggies, the biggie banks, they need the big banks like J.P. Morgan Chase and Citibank. So you don't have to worry about those banks. You don't have to worry about my strategies. My strategies only deal with the big banks. And you need those strategies. So this was an article from, from June 7th about J.P. Morgan deepens Iraqi business after city standard charter. So back in 2013, what did we just read? Citibank was in there. Well, then that's when J.P. Morgan got in there. They've been in there since 2013. It's the latest international bank after Citigroup, Inc. and standard chartered place to expand business in Iraq. Guys, they've been there. And they are now you know, poised to take all the business there. And the Central Bank of Iraq has licensed them to do just that. It's exciting. I'm just saying it's really exciting time to be in the Iraqi dinar. So that's what came out of um, our contacts, our unique contacts in Iraq that I have, my unique intel sources. We call them secret agent man because they're a collection of the people that are there. Uh, they're a collection of the coalition forces that are there. Various levels. Look at the, don't the, doesn't the sky look pretty? I want you to see the glorious clouds up there. Also, if you're feeling not enough or frustrated or angry or you're getting triggered all over the place today, you're going to want to watch my newest membership video that I've just loaded.